Welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Coolant Vantage Advanced Liquid Cooling CPU Cooler. What's included is the main unit, a very well illustrated installation guide, back plates for the Intel socket 775, 1156, and 1366, as well as brackets for the AMD sockets, and four screws for mounting the radiator on the case. This product is compatible with all current AMD and Intel motherboards, but note how easy it is to install on Intel sockets. As you can see, there's labeling for the socket 1366, 1156, and 775, and all you would need to do whether you are installing it on either one of these sockets is pull out this little pin right here and then readjust it to either the position it's in now, the 1366, or 1156 again you need to pull both of these and then just reposition it to either one of them 1156 or 775 and you would just do this on each note the easy to install thumb screw design but you can also use a Phillips screwdriver if you wish this ALC or advanced liquid cooling system is completely sealed so there's no maintenance required. This means no refills are required and thankfully no risk of leaks. Since it's completely configured, there's no need for any extra installation like other water cooling kits. By combining the water block, pump, reservoir, and radiator together, it reduces the traditional four component loop into just one component. This substantially decreases the space required for installation, and it really simplifies the installation process over a traditional water cooling kit. The pump, water reservoir, cold plate, as well as the electronics are housed in one compact unit, and the pump that's used is ultra quiet and designed to last many years. The CPU block is all copper and has a great finish, so it will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. Now the block comes with a thin coat of thermal compound, which takes the guesswork out of applying it yourself. Inside this unit is the brains of the cooler. As you can see, there's an LCD, which shows all all kinds of information and has many different settings. Let's have a closer look. The display shows their logo, but I believe that this will be customizable in the future. Coolant temperature, fan speed, pump speed, and the operating mode. Within the settings, you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can change the mode from performance to extreme to quiet. And, if you want to, you can load the defaults. Within display, you can change the LED color from blue to white, red, amber, green, purple, or you can turn it off. Also, you can have it pulsed if you want to. So let me just go up here and make it blue. And then, if you turn pulse on, it will pulse. That's very neat. I go back into display. And you can also change the angle of the display. So, for example, if you were going to install this in a different orientation than what I have it right here, you can go into the display, go into angle, and then you can adjust it 90 degrees. You can also adjust it to 180 or 270 degrees. And note that this cooler has a wireless module which is compatible with an upcoming Maestro software control platform that allows for remote control and monitoring. Note that there's only one four pin power connection and that gets connected into the motherboard's three or four pin CPU fan header. Now this lead right here gets connected into the fan which is on the radiator. The corrugated tubing that's used is much less porous than vinyl tubing or even rubber tubing and hence fewer refills are required. It also doesn't crack or degrade easily. Now the downside to this corrugated tubing is it's not as flexible as vinyl or rubber tubing. I should note also that 
the coolant that's used in this particular system is low toxicity with anti-corrosion, anti-fungal additives. Now just have a look at how well this corrugated tubing is attached. This means that you do not have to worry about it coming detached and thus you do not have to worry about leaks. And let's face it, leaks is a major concern with traditional water cooling systems. It's probably one of the major reasons why people do not install them. The 120 millimeter radiator that's included has lots of fins and a quiet 120 millimeter fan and this fan comes with a grill as well as a four pin power connection. The fan is mounted on the radiator to blow warm air out the back of the case and there's a spacer on the other side for case compatibility. Installation is very easy. First attach the water block and then mount the main unit at the back of the case where a 120 millimeter fan would normally be installed. Note that all the materials for installation are included and it can be mounted on any new AMD or Intel based motherboard and it will fit in most cases with a 120 millimeter fan at the back. Also note that an optional additional 120 millimeter fan can be installed for added performance. As well, this product comes with a two year manufacturer warranty. Finally, have a listen, but remember that the fan speed varies depending upon the coolant temperature. Now have a listen to the fan at full speed. If you're looking for a liquid cooling system, but you do not want to get involved with all of the components and how to install them in different parts of the case and so on and so forth, and you're worried about leaks, well, this is a perfect option because it reduces that traditional four component loop with all of the headaches into just one component that is extremely easy to install. Now there are a number of advanced liquid cooling systems like this on the market. So what separates this one from them? Well, it's the LCD and the brains of the unit. This particular model has that LCD and you can change the color, also the orientation. You can change the mode from performance to extreme to quiet. That will give you a number of different options. Also, this particular unit has that wireless maestro compatibility and hopefully you will be able to change the logo that's on the LCD to something that you would prefer, something custom. Also, it will give you the remote access and the remote control over the unit so you don't actually have to press those buttons on the unit itself. Overall, this is a fantastic option for anybody who is considering liquid cooling but not willing to go to the extreme and go with a custom liquid cooling or water cooling setup. It's between that and a really good high performance air cooler. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.